Impact to Value of Words, International Literature and Arts Festival, our fourth edition. And today, not only are we going to launch a very special book, but we are so, so proud and happy to have with us a very, very special author as well. And I'm talking about Ayan, who is the youngest author in India. He is all of seven years old. And welcome, Ayan, to Value of Words. You want to say something? Yes, I'm very grateful for everything. Thank you for launching my book. I feel very honored. Thank you, Ayan, for those lovely words. So, uh, you are seven years old. Can you tell me when is your birthday? My birthday is in August 14. Wow! Just before independence. That's so nice. And let me yeah. tell you, he has uh, won the Global Child Prodigy Award. He is in the India Book of Records. He has got an honor badge from Jakarta and so many other prizes. Ayan, where do you keep all these medals, trophies? What are they? Actually, I came here without my trophies. My trophies? It is in my room. Okay. Do you have space to keep all of them? No. No. <laughs> okay. So, Ayan launched his first book when he was three. And now you are seven. Why did you wait for no. four years? I took two years to write my second book. Oh, you took two, I took two years. years to write my second book. My first okay. book, I come, came out in 2018. My second book, Bumblebee, came out in 2020. Talking about books, you know, I feel just like it came out there. The mother keeps her babies inside her home for nine months, but I came out in seven months. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the next Just book like that. Faster. Just like that. My babies, Honeycomb and Bumblebee, really need a time to grow. The difference is, my home isn't in my tummy, it's in my heart and in my brain. Oh, that's so sweet. So the ideas, facts, and concepts need to time to grow. Because I don't want to write a book for the sake of writing. I want to write a book that really improves people's life. I want to write a book that adds the beauty and meaning. That's why I always balance my school studies and my writings. First, I listen to audio books. Then I observe nature, animals, birds, plants, trees, everything around me. And I also took some okay. online courses on happiness. Okay. So when you say you write... And not quantity. If I That's have to wait for my second book, I'll wait. You know, sometimes mothers give twins, triplets, or quadruplets. Just like that, if I want, I'll give birth to many books at the same time. So, you are saying we should have patience, we should do it from the heart, and you want to spread happiness, 
what do you think is the biggest problem with all the grown up people you know people like me people like maybe your parents the biggest problem um, with grown up people is that they worry a lot you worry when the weather is cool you worry when it's not you worry when you are doing well you worry when you are not it's worry worry all the time you don't know how to laugh then think of something funny and they write your app beta i just wish that they retain the child in them and they always stay happy okay are you a naughty child or are you a good child eh hey, i don't know if you don't know i will ask your mom then i don't know where she is but i think I am a good boy not a naughty boy I am sure you are a good boy You said you read a lot of audio books So what who is your favorite I listen author? to many audio books Tell that again I am Actually I listen to audio books not read audio books I'm so sorry my mistake yes you listen to them so which ones are your favorite oh a lot of them which one tell me a few names oh a lot i love 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 reading okay There's so many, many of them that i like my recent favorite is diary of a wolf i don't know who wrote this but i think it's very funny okay and your favorite from bumblebee do you have a particular page that is your favorite some a particular article you want to read that out my book bumblebee is about the secret key to love happiness and great health how to raise us happy how to have a healthy body and a healthy mind how to take care of nature how to love everyone how to be grateful for everything how to have a long and beautiful life how to stay happy these are my favorite topics but if i have to pick i choose just one i'll pick minimalism and essentialism Minimalism addresses the tangible things that occupy space in our life. Essentialism addresses those intangible things that occupy space in our mind. I say this every way. Less is always more. If we have less things in our life, we can take care of them easily in less time, and we'll have more time to do what we really love to do. Yes. because that uh, i'm talking about my book i'll recite a poem from my book plant the tree do you think the food that comes to you do you think the person who cooks that food for you do you think the farmer who takes care of plants and trees for you do you think the trees and plants that gives you fruits and vegetables Do you think nature that nurses those plants for you? Do you think the bed you sleep on? Do you think the desk you study on? Do you think the paper made of bamboo you write on? Do you think the clothes you put on that come from cotton buds or leafy green worms? Do you think the rain that helps trees to grow? Do you help? Thank the sun that helps in photosynthesis. Do you thank the trees that gives you oxygen? If you want to thank, plant a tree. 
Wow. So you are not only thinking about so many things, you are also teaching us to be thankful, the value of gratitude. Thank you so much, Ayan, for that lesson. Tell me something, do you always come first in class? Yes. Okay. And all your teachers, they love you? Yes. Okay. So do you know or do you think that you are somebody very special? First, I am very grateful for the love people shower on me. But honestly, I don't love it when people will treat me differently. I'm just a little boy. The sky of love for the whole universe, nature, and all other life forms. Whatever I write, do, or say is a manifestation of my love for Mother Nature. We all are different, with different abilities. For example, if I can write and sing well, somebody else can sing and dance well. No one is above us, no one is below us. We all are equal, but unique. Wow, that's such a great lesson to learn and keep with you in life, that we are all different, unique, and differently abled. So you just said you paint well. I think you have painted more than 500 paintings. Do you take painting lessons? No, I don't take any formal lessons. Actually, there's no one in my family who will help me paint. Nobody understands painting. That's why I take the help of nature. I look around and if I see something interesting, I try to paint it. I think it's God who is helping me paint. Okay, he paints the whole world. So, <laughs> so what what do you use to paint? Do you do you use color pencils, pastels, watercolors? I use for any kind of of things I can use to color. Okay. okay. And which is the best painting that you have made? What is it about? Is it a flower? Is it skies? It is a forest? Which is your favorite painting? My favorite painting? Yes. My favorite painting is the giraffe. It's a story oh, wow. from my book, Hanikan. Okay. So your first book, you called it Haniko. And your yes. second book, you have mm -hmm. called it Bumblebee. So everything has to do with bees. Do you love bees? Or do you love honey? Yes. You love bees? Yes. I think why do you love bees are very helpful. That's why I made it my names Nikam Bumblebee. That's that's nice. And yes, bees are very, very helpful in keeping nature's ecosystems alive. Tell me something, you know, when anyone meets a child, they ask them, what do you want to do when you grow up? And they say, you know, someone will say, I want to be a writer when I grow up. Someone says, I want to be a painter when I grow up. You are already a writer. You are already a painter. What do you want to become when you grow up? 
when I grow up, I want to be a life coach, writer, painter, space scientist, farmer, and nature lover. But most importantly, I want to be a kind, honest, and wise man. Well, I am sure all our book lovers out there, those who are listening, think of you already as all of those things. You are kind, you are loving, and you are coaching us in life. So do you want to unwrap the book and show it to everyone? Your new, your yes. second book? Yeah, let's unwrap it. Thank you for those. 
Hello to all the sisters. And thank you for being with us.